What is up, LaMarche family? I am Travis. I'm going to be taking over the snap today. Follow along. We're going to have some fun. I'm stoked to be on Matt's chat today. Matt has been, uh, dude, Matt's one of my favorite people, man. I freaking love this guy. I'm down in Fort Myers today picking up OG. That's the original gangster. I'll explain to you how I got here and what the heck we're doing here. So I got into lawn care when I was 16. I had a lot of success right out of the gate in high school. And at the time that I graduated high school, I ended up selling that company off. I put this idea in my head that maybe I should build and sell lawn businesses as opposed to running them because I had an easier time getting them to a certain level than actually maintaining them. So I found this sweet little niche just building and selling lawn businesses. And I did relatively well. I'd build up a business and then I would sell it for three to six months of its revenue. I used the proceeds from those sales to get into machines. I started out small, but I saw machines as a way to do more landscaping, easier, a little bit more net profit. Also a huge proponent of machines because after running different lawn and landscape businesses for 10 years, I just noticed my machines were easier to manage than my people. So what I did there is I took my the value of what my lawn routes were and I just kind of turned it into some like equipment. So what I did is I just consolidated my stuff. I took all my weed whackers and my, my mowers and all that stuff and I packaged it off and I sold it and I just converted it all into something that was a little bit simpler to manage. But I did not just sell off businesses and just go right into equipment. I started out with renting equipment. Just getting on job sites, bidding bigger projects than I had bid in the past. So through renting equipment, I kind of figured out what projects did well for me, which ones did not do well for me. And at that point, I started getting a little bit more serious as to how I could get into a machine. That is how OG ended up becoming OG because it's the original gangster cat. It's actually the first cat we got with tracks. Before that, there was a POS cat. That actually was a beast. She was a boss, but she was old. She was rusty. She made weird noises, but it allowed me to learn. That one after selling off part of a lawn route. So I sold off 30 counts. I got some cash for it. I actually got 13 grand, and I went out and I bought an old bobcat. Breaking the action there. Goose life. Goose life will get you out of some terrible situations. So I ran POS Cat for about a year and a half. Learned a lot of stuff. Had a lot of success. Had a lot of failures. And then sold it for thirteen thousand. Point. I ended up getting into OG. I financed OG. It was the first thing that I had financed at that point in my business. A lot of people don't know just how easy it can be to get into new machines. And the reason I went and I financed is I wanted something reliable that I could scale with. OG became my full-time employee at $900 a month, as opposed to the salaries I used to pay. What about OG is that she's always ready to work. She's always at work, never talks back. Love her. For me, I got to a point after mowing for 10 years where I realized I didn't really want to expand to look like these guys. I pretty much... Just want to look like me. So the OG lesson is you can get going for a whole lot less than you think it takes to get going. 